the Argentine National Academy of Engineering is pleased to host the international CADES meeting of 2021 in Buenos Aires. Argentina is located in the most southern part of America. It spans over 3,400 kilometers between its northern border and its southern counterpart in Tierra del Fuego. It's so big that any kind of climate can be found within it. High temperatures in the north and colder ones in the south. Flatlands and high mountains. Prairies, deserts and tropical jungles. Beaches and lakes. It offers remarkable views of nature for tourists. The Iguazu Falls, the Quebrada de Humahuaca Mountain Valley, the Perito Moreno Glacier, the Valley of the Moon, the Nahuel Huapi Lake. Buenos Aires is its capital city. 12 million people reside in its metropolitan area. It's located on the Plata River, a navigable river with a flow of 23,000 cubic meters per second of fresh water and 52 kilometers between its shores, which make it the widest river in the world. Buenos Aires is a cosmopolitan city, famous for its cultural activity, its restaurants and social life. It's also home to the Water Company Palace, which is where the headquarters of the National Academy of Engineering can be found. It's also famous for its opera theater, the Colón Theater, which is regarded as one of the finest in the world because of its acoustics and its classical architectural richness. Argentina is widely known for its excellent cuisine, in particular for its meat, as well as for tango and its football players, such as Messi and Maradona. Traditionally, it comes at the top in the sport of polo. It produces food for 400 million people and it exports energy. Its agriculture is amongst the most advanced when it comes to technology. The Argentine university system has seen a sustained growth and currently has 54 national universities and numerous private learning institutions with a long tradition in research and development it has provided the country with three Nobel laureates in the sciences, like Bernardo José, Federico Lelois, and Cesar Milstein. The 2021 Cates meeting will focus on the energy of the future, reflecting the changes that will take place in the global energy matrix as a result of technological advances, environmental changes, and the international agreements on climate change. COVID-19 has accelerated this transition. Natural gas is one of the alternatives that will have an important role as fuel for the energetic transition. Argentina possesses the world's second biggest shale gas and oil reserve following the United States. The productive shale of Acamuerta encompasses an area of over 40,000 square kilometers, even bigger than the one in Belgium. Virtual gas pipelines are a clear example of the new available developments. From isolated gas wells, where the gas is liquefied, called LNG, and then transported in trucks to users and consumers, in this case, to an electrical central power plant that provides electricity to a city of 125,000 inhabitants in the south of the province of Mendoza. Compressed natural gas GNC and liquefied gas, LNG, are used as fuel in several motor vehicles and heavy trucks. Gas stations are built all over the country for the supply of GNC and LNG using portable tanks for its transportation. LNG is also beginning to be used as fuel for cargo ships. As a local example, we can cite the Francisco ferry, propelled by a gas turbine, which connects Buenos Aires with the port of Montevideo, Uruguay. Argentina also houses three working nuclear power plants, all of which use natural uranium. The main ones are Atucha 1, the first nuclear power plant built in Latin America, which has been working since 1974, and the Atucha 2, which has been working since 2014, both located in Zarate, in the province of Buenos Aires. We can also include here Embalse Rio III in the province of Córdoba, which has been working since 1984. All three nuclear power plants provide a capacity of 1,755 megawatts. 
A small nuclear power reactor is currently being built in Sarate, called CAREM, of 32 megawatts, designed by the Atomic Energy National Commission. Another development related to nuclear research is the construction of a reactor for the production of radioisotopes, RA-10, in Ezeiza. In Argentina, wind energy has some areas with strong winds in the Patagonia and in the south of the province of Buenos Aires, as well as in the mountain areas. The power capacity installed in wind generators surpasses 2,000 megawatts. The great geographic extension of Argentina, with wind poles in the south and solar cells in the north and west of the country, force the need to amplify the capacity of energy transmission with long power lines of high voltage, given that the main centers of energy consumption are found far away from these renewable sources. Currently, solar energy reaches a capacity of 460 megawatts. The total capacity of renewable energies is of 3,000 326 megawatts, which covers about 16% of the instantaneous electrical demand. The utilization of energy has accelerated. It's used in households, both for heating water as well as to generate electricity. A good example is the housing complex in Villa 31, in the city of Buenos Aires, inaugurated in 2019. In line with the future of energy, Argentina holds the second biggest world reserve of lithium, which is the raw material used for batteries. We hope to be able to live up to the successful previous CATES meetings, such as the last one, which took place in Stockholm.